Howdy folks, it's uh, Donal here again uh, with your March 2020 update uh, for Junction Triangle. You've probably just watched my update on what's going on in the GTA uh, and everything that's happening with uh, COVID-19 and its effects on our real estate market. Um, but anyways, let's dumb down now into Junction Triangle uh, and see what sales occurred in March of 2020. Um, so we, we only had three sales. So we're going to look at those right now. Uh, the cheapest home that sold was uh, 153 Symington Avenue, listed at 799, sold for 890. Uh, so there was a home that sold above asking. Um, and as you can see there, it was sold on the 13th of March. So before um, really everything, it was actually that day, Friday the 13th, when things started to get a bit real. And uh, I think people started to take this very seriously, uh, you know, on the ground. Obviously, governments have been, this has been on the radar for a while. Um, the most expensive sale in Junction Triangle was 125 Perth Avenue, listed at 1.199 and sold for 1.165. Um, <clears throat> now, they did try to sell this in multiple offers, but of course, their price, they were pushing the price in the first place. For what the property was, I checked it out. It needed a lot of work. Um, however, the big advantage for this property being on Perth, a bit of a quieter street, quieter street, um, but uh, it had a 25 foot frontage lot. Okay, so you can see here, yeah, 25 foot by 125, and uh, detached double car garage in the back. Um, so yeah, as I said, there was one in the middle there, 126 um, Campbell Avenue, sold for 893. Um, so again, all those sales occurred earlier on in March in the Junction Triangle, okay? Um, and as you just saw in our, our GTA um, update or what's going on in, in Toronto and the GTA, uh, March is very much a tale of two sides, right? Two halves. The first half was basically March 1st to March 15th. And then um, things uh, started to shift quite a bit. Still a lot of transactions, mind you. Um, but we done an inventory, uh, the number of listings increased as it would every spring anyways. You'd expect that, that a lot of people uh, were waiting in the pipeline to get their properties up on uh, the market for the spring market. So we did see that increase in product in the market um, and we still did see transactions, but we are starting to see a shift. Um, anyway, so there you go. That's it for Junction Triangle. Now, what you also have in the link uh, as well too in your email here, um, uh, or the link below here where you're watching, we will have access to our stats. So we put together stats for Junction Triangle. Let me just go back here a second. So yeah, so our reports for March 2020 in our neighborhoods, we've got Bloordale Village, Doverport Village, of course, from now the relevant one we're talking about is Junction Triangle. So those sales we just went through, they're there for you to download if you so wish. Um, <clears throat> Uh, also are the stats, the last six months of stats. It'll be interesting to watch these as we go through the next few months uh, with lockdown in place. So there you can see Junction Triangle from October 1st to March 31st, there were 17 sales. On average, the home prices were for residential were a million and 34,000. The high sale was 1.675 million. Um, and that, that was a unique property that actually took 140. You can see there it's a triplex. It was up the very top of Campbell, actually 336 Campbell up near the tracks, and it was a fully renovated uh, legal duplex. I was on the market for 114 days. Um, so that does skew some of these, these uh, figures slightly, but uh, nonetheless, it was a residential property in the neighborhood. Um, so on average, homes took 17 days to sell in, the, in the, that six month period. Um, and on average stuff sold for about 6% above the asking price. So again, multiple offer territory there. It'll be interesting, very interesting to watch these two figures as we move forward over the next few months, um, what happens those. And of course, up here, we have the different uh, housing stock, you've detached semi row house. Um, so you can kind of get gathered there as well to maybe where roughly your uh, home price is okay so anyways that's your junk and triangle update it's all Ward mccarthy here with Kelly women's reality listen you all stay safe stay at home um and just look out for the folks around you okay thank you so much